All right, in this video, let's look at an application. In previous video, the use of exponential functions was demonstrated when finding the accumulated amount resulting from compounding interest periodically or continuously. But a question that's often asked is, how long will it take my investment to either double or triple? So let's suppose we want to find the time required for a thousand dollar investment to double at an interest rate of 6.5 percent. And notice we're going to compound it continuously. Now here's our formula. You remember it. P sub zero is our original amount. That's how much we invested. In this case, we invested a thousand dollars. Now P is the amount after $1,000 is doubled. In other words, when we get $2,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve 2,000 equals 1,000 e to the 0.065t. Now, class, notice we could divide both sides by 1,000 and just simply have put in a 2. We'll talk about that in a minute. Now, we definitely don't try to solve that type of an equation by hand. So we're going to use our calculator and say, say solve 2 equals e to the 0.065t, and we're going to ask it to solve for t. And our calculators are very smart, and in this case, it's going to take about 10.6, 10.7 years for our investment to double. The doubling time, then, is 10.68 years. All right, now let's check out something here. There's a shortcut. What do we want to do? We want 2, or excuse me, p to equal 2 times p0. So 2 times p0 equals p0 e to the rt. Notice the original amount doesn't matter. All I have to know is when does e to the rt equal 2? And we'll find the doubling time. Now we looked at doubling time. How about if we want to know how long will it take that same investment to triple? All right, so let's do some computations on that. When will it triple? We're going to use the same idea as we did for the doubling time. So what do we want? We want p to equal 3p sub 0. So 3p sub 0 equals e p sub 0 e to the 0.065t. And again, we don't try to solve that by hand. Go to the calculator. Be careful keying it in so that you get everything keyed in properly. Ask the calculator to solve for t. And notice it takes another about six years, a little better than six years, for our money to triple. Now we have to be careful. Certain logarithmic equations, when solved, will have an extraneous or extra solution. As a result, all logarithmic equations should be checked after solving. Let's try one here. Natural log of x plus 1 minus the natural log of x minus 2 equals log of x. So notice we're using all of our formulas that we've learned. We get x plus 1 equals x squared minus 2x. We draw all of it together, make it equal 0. Let's go to the calculator and solve that quadratic equation because it looks like it's not going to factor very well. And notice what we get. Oh, definitely doesn't factor. Now, let's do a diamond enter and get decimal form. So x is 3.3 .3 and x is minus 0.3. So let's notice what's the significance of that. All right, let's write those down. Now, when x equals minus 0.3, this causes a problem. What's the problem? x minus 2 would end up being less than 0. Now, do you remember we can't take a logarithm of a negative number? So, x equal to minus 0.3 has to be discarded, 